for portfolio allocators is that in China, they're consolidating power around Xi. The question is, do you see it on the street? So investors feel pain in the real estate market, the stock market, but if you are on the street, you can see that they're still spending. What do you think is happening with these emerging markets? Yeah, these names are the usual suspects. You forgot Indonesia, there, there's other names. We just ran out on that, and, and, and that's a much broader part of impact. Is that how you're kind of looking through this at this point? It's a different game over there. If you want to be Facebook or Google or, and get over there, you know, good luck. For me over there, I need to get a VPN. Now staying with the tech landscape in Asia, one company in Taiwan is making a big leap into investing in the country's startup sector. Taiwan Accelerator is the country's first seed accelerator, sometimes referred to as the Y Combinator of the region after the US's famed seed accelerated here in the Bay Area. Now TA recently invested in eight wide-ranging startups from e-commerce to big data and even agricultural technology. And after going through an eight-week program, Taiwan Accelerator is in the U.S. for its first roadshow. Joining us now, Richard Kang, partner of Taiwan Accelerator. Richard is also the founder and CEO of Finterest Ventures. And you're actually based in Toronto, in Canada. But you're over here with the eight companies that you've helped so far mentor and, and coach. And, and what does the U.S. roadshow potentially bring for them? Cash, I suppose. Well, hopefully some cash, but also just um, a bit of flag waving. So we've heard a lot of technology coming out of Bangalore, Shenzhen, uh, Seoul, Singapore. I don't know. Hi, this is Richard Kang. We are here in Silicon Valley on the first stop of the U.S. Roadshow, where we have our eight startups of our first cohort presenting in front of investors. I'm here to talk specifically about Daddy's Road, the one startup uh, that is not based out of Taiwan, but is actually based out of India. Uh, an interesting concept with a mobile app and a hardware component. Uh, I'm interested in the fact that it has very practical functions that could benefit society as a whole. Uh, for example, I could see this being used in the driverless car, the shared car economy such as Uber or Lyft, or just the consumer in general who sees the benefits of uh, protecting their car from vandalism, some sort of hazard like fire, or just being a good neighbor and having uh, someone tell you that you're blocking their car and the app allows you to be communicated that you have to move your, move your car. Um, the concept of them coming to Taiwan um, to connect this sort of technology, not only in India to the Indian consumer, but in Asia overall, potentially using Taiwan as a springboard to China and other large markets is very interesting and actually a very, um, a very smart a strategic move for them to uh, expand this technology uh, globally, uh, a footprint in India and China uh, makes a lot of sense. For me, I've asked the question, why does this not exist? Um, I'll leave that for the founders to, to discuss, but uh, seeing their development, their product um, actually online, gathering uh, customers at a good pace, uh, demonstrates not only the product, uh, but its value to consumers. Uh, I'm very excited about Daddy's Road. Thank you.